Hey guys, this is Pokemon Bry hopping in here again. Before getting into today's video, I just want to announce the giveaway that I'm going to be having for the month of May. It is going to be for a Temporal Forces booster box. So May is the one year anniversary of me starting this channel. So I figured I'd give back to you guys in a big way for all the views, likes, comments, subscribers, members, so on and so forth. I appreciate you guys so much. And you're the reason I keep on going with this. So every video I drop will be a chance to enter for this booster box. The giveaway then will be announced uh, on June the 3rd, which will be my first video that I drop in June. So in order to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is make sure you're a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comments down below what your favorite poll is from today's video. And again, the winner will be announced in the video that drops on June the 3rd. So... For today, there's a few things you guys probably know about me by now. One of them is I love mystery boxes. So when I was in Walmart last week and they had this crazy restock that happened, I came across um, these very questionable items would probably be the best way to put it. And they were only $20 a piece. So I was like, that's crazy. For a graded card and two booster packs, 20 bucks. How bad could it really be? And then I looked and I was... All I saw when I saw this that said Mystery Gems is the Mystery Power Cube. So I was like, there's a good chance that this is a really, really bad product. But it came with two booster packs, so... Was it that bad? Well, we're gonna we're going to find out here. So I, I bought um, $100 worth. So I have five of these that we're going to go through. I've recently done a lot of uh, mystery boxes about the graded cards that had guaranteed ones. So we, we got some cool cards out of it. We got lucky. We pulled a couple of vintage ones. So I don't know about these, though. I, it was my first time ever seeing a product like this inside of a Walmart. Normally, when I order them, they're online, and I can tell by the reviews what I'm getting myself into. These ones, for 20 bucks, leave a little uh, something to be desired, I feel like. But we're going to go in and we're going to find out. So, obviously, these are 2024 MJ Holding, we can see. Um, we do open a lot of MJ Holding. We've investigated their product a few times. This is a new one. Going in this with an open mind, not sure what's going to be in here, but at the price point, I mean, they got the the Lugia, they got they got a pristine 10 on the back. They got the Moonbreon, um I whatever uh BCCG is and two booster packs. So, uh Seed of Chase packs 1 of 10 it also says look for rare graded cards. So we're going to open these up. Again, it's my first time seeing these in person. I've never seen where you can oh, get a graded card box in the store. So um, it comes with two booster packs. The setup is kind of similar to what the other ones were before. So we're going to open this up. Um, and we're just going to check out exactly what's inside of one of these. Um, so this is... Beckett BCCG. Um, Black Star promo. Uh, I, I, I actually I do not know what this grading company is, guys. Um, I I, I guess I know that there's a lot of uh, I see on Twitter, I see on Facebook, like these AI grading companies, but I, I I don't know what this one is, honestly. BCCG. So I, I know a lot of those no name grading companies pretty much I, I mean the, the the card's worth what it's worth. Um but pack wise uh, we got an Astro Radiance and a Lost Origin. Um I'm I'm gonna after opening these I'm gonna pause this. I'm just gonna pull up what that website is just to get some more information. And Hopefully, I don't know, figure out some sort of value. I don't even know what those are. 
like the value on those. I've never heard of that grading company. Uh, Clefairy, Porygon. We're going to start out today with a... Whoa, that is a sweet Rotom. So, card aside, um, this was a pretty nice pack of Lost Origin. Which... The reason I bought five of these is I figured, hey, if each pack is $5, then we're paying $10 for a gamble on a graded card. So... I, I gotta I gotta look into that card a little that that company just a little bit after I open this up here, I'll uh, do some quick work on it, and I'm gonna find out what that is just so I can give you guys some better information. Rufflet, Ponita, Chat Tot, we got Rolet, and a Reggie Drago. After going ahead and checking out to see what this grading company is, because honestly I haven't heard of it, I first went to this site. And couldn't find much information. So I went to Beckett and I actually could type in the serial number. And the information on this card does pull up. So it is somehow related to Beckett. The other part that I found really interesting was these are pretty much not worth anything at all. Outside of what the value of the card is. I found also where they do this with sports cards. It seems like just, hey, we pulled a raw card that's no different than this. Let's go and put it into a slab, put a label on top, mint 10 or better, and we're going to sell them off as graded cards. I guess nobody buys the graded cards, so they put them in boxes like this. I don't know if this is the only thing that's in here, but... We're going to find out, because if that's the case, this will be the first time I've really looked at something from MJ Holdings, and I can tell you without an honest doubt, I feel like I was scammed. But we don't know what's in these. So this is our second box that we have here. As you guys probably noticed there, the video is getting a little choppy. I noticed at the end after recording it, I also identified what the issue was that caused it that the video ends up that way for the remainder of it. And I wouldn't myself feel like watching that. So instead of recreating the video, which would involve me buying more of those absolute scammy products, I figured I'll just show you what's inside of them. So I went through and I opened up, in total it was five of the uh, Mystery Gem boxes. Uh, these, in my opinion, are no different than the mystery power cubes they come with two packs of cards and then a v that they throw into a slab and call it graded this in no way shape is a graded card um everything comes out as a 10 so it's just a pack fresh card as you can see even on this there's a ding in the top of this we didn't even investigate these but there's no way that this card would come back as a 10 so every single card as a 10. I couldn't find one online that wasn't. But here's what the cards were. And then I'll show you what the pulls from the packs were. They were actually a little better than what the cards are. So uh, the first one you guys saw was the Crobat. We got the uh, this Morpico. Again, the value of these cards, of these slabs, are only what the raw card value is. Um, we got the Morpico. We, we got the uh, Orbital. End up with another Crobat, so obviously there's multiple of these. And then this one actually made me laugh, made me laugh a lot. The last slab that we pull, the Gradient V. Um, funny part about this, the giveaway that we had going on, that this was claimed, just as a heads up to everyone. So this will be uh, sent out either tonight or tomorrow. And I'm going to include this guy too. Um, mainly because what else am I going to do with it? But these products, avoid them. Don't buy them. I, I've never felt scammed in my life on mystery boxes like I have on these. So here's what the pulls were that we got out of the packs. Um, these were actually pretty all right uh, for 10 packs of Sword and Shield. So um, all in all... Uh, if you want to spend $20 on a graded card, you can get 
cooler ones on eBay for 10 bucks a piece, even that are 10s. So I, as a 10, these are probably, I don't know, like 10, 15 bucks, I would say. No, none of these actually have any crazy value to them from a reputable grading company. Again, avoid these. I hope every time I go into Walmart, the shelf is full and nobody has to suffer through buying these. I, I did it for the content and yeah, I won't be buying them again. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Sorry for the video cutting out, but shortened it up and I'll see you guys next time.